Yesterday, I did a post explaining why I thought all aspiring writers should write personal essays. And my friend here writes, I would do that, but interesting things don't happen to me. You're wrong about that. Yes, they do. Okay, when asked what are the moments that change our lives, I think most people would say they're either giant opportunities like winning the lottery or tragic occurrences like getting in a car wreck. And for sure, those would change our lives. But what about for those of us who never have any of those two things happen to us? Do our lives change? Of course they do. So my one-man show, A Paper Orchestra, ask this question, what if it's the smallest, almost forgotten moments that are the ones that shape us most? So I tell small kind of intimate stories, real character pieces. Uh, for example, one of the pieces that I do, I talk about uh, back in college, I had a girlfriend that I loved for a year and a half. And then one day out of the blue, she decides to break up with me and it, and it floored me, right? And now 30 years later, I had a chance to meet up with her at her house. So I went to her house, I spent an hour there. Now you might think, okay, what's gonna happen? Is he gonna have an affair? Is he gonna kill her? What is he gonna do? Nothing like that. I just went and I had a question that I wanted to get the answer to, but I didn't wanna ask her. I wanted to find out without asking her. And so I was kind of poking her and prodding her, but she wouldn't take the bait. And the question I really just wanted the answer to, and I finally got the answer to was, how did she remember me? You know, I think we all want that. How are we being remembered by people? And so that's one of the stories, and that's real small. We all have stories like that. And another, my wife and I, every weekend we drive to a new neighborhood, usually like a real expensive upscale neighborhood. We go for a walk. And this one weekend, we went to this neighborhood where it was mansions, giant mansions. And it filled me with both jealousy and judgment because I was like, they shouldn't have this kind of money, and why can't I have this kind of money? I mean, you know, stuff like that. And then we saw an estate sale in one of these mansions. And now I had the opportunity to go inside this home of a person who I had been judging for, for months, right? And I went in and what I saw really kind of did a number on me. And I wrote about that. And so these stories you all have, we all have these stories. So if you want to see my show, A Paper Orchestra, I'm going to be in the Boston area in Amesbury, Massachusetts, November 12th and 13th. Then two shows back in LA, December 10th and 11th. And these are just small character studies that I think if you're an aspiring writer, you'll love. And if you're a human being on the planet, you'll laugh and you'll cry. So, you know, come see the show and I think it'll inspire you and it'll show you that you have these stories as well. To me, this is more interesting. I can't do this kind of writing on TV, you know, and I'm a TV writer. I can only do this kind of writing here in, in theater, which I find, I don't know, to me, it's more interesting than doing, uh, you know, CGI monster movies. Like this to me is like the real juicy stuff that people can really just relate to. So the details are from my life, but the stories are all of ours. I hope, I hope you'll come see me. Go here for tickets or click the link in my profile.